it's still the best-selling midsize pickup. But unlike past years, a lot more Tacomas are sitting on dealer lots. We're not talking about a minor crisis. Sales have dropped a staggering 25% compared to the last season, triggering all alarms. What on earth is going on with Toyota Tacoma, causing it to lose momentum? Find out seven critical issues in this video. Number seven, no V6 option. The latest Toyota Tacoma brought exciting updates from its refreshed exterior to an upgraded interior. However, the biggest news came from the engine room where the hybrid system was introduced. It signals Toyota's steady shift towards greener technology. Let's be honest, everyone expected a hybrid powertrain in the mid-sized truck sooner or later, so its debut wasn't a complete surprise. This setup combines a 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine with an electric motor, producing 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. Those numbers seem very strong, especially when you consider the enhanced fuel efficiency and reduced emissions. But what really matters for the pickup truck is towing capacity, a segment where the hybrid powertrain isn't the best option. But let's stick to the V6 unit. Despite the superb specs, fans are already loudly expressing their disappointment. The Tacoma has always been known for its rugged capability and, more importantly, the V6 power that previous models offered. Many feel that the new generation has lost their traditional toughness. While Toyota targets environmentally conscious buyers, the company may have underestimated the loyalty of diehard fans who value performance and the rumble of a V6. With this engine, Tacoma has built a reputation as an indestructible vehicle, boosting its popularity, reliability, and resale value. Toyota isn't the first truck maker that's taking this shift in the midsize pickup class with Ford trusting its EcoBoost 2.3 unit for the Ranger. Nissan, on the other hand, took a different approach with its redesigned Frontier, where a V6 was kept, and it already pays off. Enthusiasts who appreciate the engine's raw power made the sales go up recently. Hybrids are great for the future, but many truck buyers aren't ready to give up the performance they love about traditional internal combustion engines. Number six, poor horsepower and torque. The new Tacoma brings a turbocharged four-cylinder engine that certainly improves on the previous generation's outputs. Gone is the old 2.7-liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine that managed to deliver lame 159 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque. This was unacceptable for a mid-sized truck. Even the V6 option with 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque was never a class leader. Today, the turbocharged 2.4-liter four-cylinder will make things a bit better, matching the previous V6's horsepower rating at 278, while increasing torque to 317 pound-feet. While this is a solid upgrade, it still leaves a Toyota Tacoma trailing in a competitive class. If the company wants to be a segment leader, its vehicles must stand out in every area. Competitors have taken bolder steps in terms of power and torque, raising them to levels that the Tacoma's new engine struggles to reach. The Ford Ranger's 2.7-liter V6 Turbo delivers 310 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque, while the Nissan Frontier's naturally aspirated 3.8-liter V6 puts out 310 horsepower, giving it a strong, consistent performance. Even the Jeep Gladiator, with its 3.6-liter V6 producing 285 horsepower, manages to outshine the Tacoma in towing capacity. Chevrolet has also upped its game with the new Colorado, offering a powerful turbocharged 2.7-liter four-cylinder with up to 310 horsepower and an impressive 430 pound-feet of torque. Number five, limited towing capacity. The new Tacoma did up its game, but when it comes to hauling, it's still not good enough. With a maximum towing capacity of 6,500 pounds, the Tacoma lags behind all its main competitors in the mid-sized truck market. Both the Chevrolet Colorado and the Jeep Gladiator, for example, are rated to tow an impressive 7,700 pounds. The fact that Chevy managed to achieve this without a diesel engine, which is a popular choice for high towing power, makes the Tacoma's lower limit even more evident. While the hybrid powertrain may offer improved fuel efficiency, buyers prioritize capability, and 6,500 pounds is not enough for many truckers. In fact, only the Honda Ridgeline tows less, and it's not always considered a traditional mid-sized truck because of its unibody platform. On the other hand, even Nissan Frontier has boosted its towing ability, 
with a new model rated above 7,000 pounds. For many truck enthusiasts, towing is a top priority, and a mid-sized truck with limited capacity can be a deal breaker. Toyota's decision to focus on a hybrid technology and stick with a turbocharged four-cylinder engine can impress when it comes to gas mileage, but came at the cost of towing capability. Number four, compact trucks are overtaking market. The rise of compact pickup trucks, especially the Ford Maverick, is another big factor in the recent slowdown in Toyota Tacoma sales. Ford launched a game changer, offering the utility of a pickup with the compact dimensions and driving ease that many buyers are looking for. The best indicator can be sales numbers, showing that Maverick already outsells every mid-sized truck on the market, except the Tacoma. If Tacoma sales continue to decline, Ford's small pickup will soon catch up, challenging Toyota's long-standing dominance in the pickup segment. Compact trucks, Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz, are based on crossover platforms, offering car-like agility while delivering the practicality of a truck bed. Small pickups are attractive to urban and suburban drivers who need to haul limited loads, but prefer the easy handling, better fuel efficiency, and lower price point these models offer. With more compact trucks on the way, this shift in buyer preference is hard to ignore. Number three, cheap build. The Toyota Tacoma has long been celebrated for its legendary reliability, durability, and high resale value, making it the best choice for mid-sized truck buyers. However, as new models hit the market with increasingly refined interiors and higher quality materials, this reputation is beginning to show cracks. Many drivers are starting to feel they're paying too much for what they describe as a cheap build. Despite its rugged reputation, the Tacoma's interior is often criticized for its extensive use of hard plastic and limited premium features, especially in the lower trims. This focus on durability over refinement worked for years, as Tacoma buyers valued function over style. But the expectations have evolved. Competitors like the Chevrolet Colorado, Ford Ranger, and Nissan Frontier have introduced updates that provide more comfortable, upscale interiors with soft-touch materials, advanced technology, and driver-centric designs that feel worth the price tag. Even compact trucks like the Ford Maverick are setting a new standard for interior quality, despite their smaller size. Tacoma's basic rugged cabin might still appeal to some, especially those who prioritize reliability for off-road adventures or hard work. However, for buyers who use their trucks for daily commuting, the plastic-heavy cabin can feel disappointing. Number two, recalls. In recent years, Toyota Tacoma's reputation for reliability has taken a hit due to several recalls and reports of issues, which also affects slower sales. One of the latest recalls involves Tacomas equipped with Gulf States Toyota accessories that have an issue with the load carrying capacity modification label, which displays inaccurate weight values. If a driver overloads their vehicle based on incorrect maximum capacity, it could increase the risk of a crash, raising concerns about vehicle safety. Another significant recall centers around malfunctioning grill shutter. This issue, while less severe, could affect the truck's aerodynamics and cooling efficiency, potentially leading to performance problems over time. Adding to these problems, there have also been several complaints about Tacoma's 8-speed automatic transmission, with some owners experiencing shifting problems, rough gear changes, or delayed responses. Although Toyota hasn't officially recalled the transmission, they've opted to replace the gearbox in certain trucks experiencing these malfunctions. While it's good to see Toyota fixing customer concerns, these problems, along with the other recalls, have created a perception that Tacoma's dependability isn't quite what it used to be. Number one, overpriced. The biggest factor contributing to the recent slowdown in sales is a high price tag. Historically, Tacoma has always been one of the expensive choices in the mid-size pickup segment. But with the latest generation, costs have escalated even further, especially with the removal of the naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine, which once offered a more affordable entry-level option. Today, the base Tacoma starts at $31,500. Many truckers consider that hefty, especially given the plastic materials and simplistic design of the interior. Moving up the lineup, the price climb becomes even more pronounced. The iForce Max system starts at over $46,000, pushing the Tacoma out of reach for many who might want the fuel efficiency of a hybrid truck. And for the highest end models, the prices soar. The TRD Pro and Trail Hunter trims come in at around $63,000. For many, 
These premium prices simply don't align with the rugged, work-oriented spirit that Tacoma has traditionally represented. The high cost feels especially out of reach for workers who need a capable truck without luxury level pricing. On the bright side, the truck has long held impressive resale values, making it a smart buy in the long run. But if the truck's high entry price continues to frighten new buyers and overall sales decline, it could eventually impact resale values as well. In a market where many competitors offer a mix of capability and affordability, Toyota may need to rethink its pricing strategy if the company wants to keep Tacoma at the top of the mid-sized truck segment. Otherwise, potential buyers might start looking toward more reasonably priced options that deliver comparable value.